the experience. High school in Michigan, college in Michigan, a lot of good players from Michigan. Any mm -hmm. mentors or guys you follow closely? You can name the list, right? Jordan Poole, Duncan Robinson, yeah. all those guys. Any guys mentors to you or you just follow closely in their careers? Yeah, uh, JP, Franz, you know, Trey, Trey Bird came back um, this season actually and talked to us in the locker room. Timmy Hardaway came back. Um, but people that didn't go to Michigan that are from Michigan, um, Xavier Tillman went to my high school. Um, Dwayne Washington Jr. went to my high school. Um, guys that just came out of Michigan. Um, I talk to all those guys and we, we check in with each other every now and again. But um, stuff that's those are people that I learned stuff from and how to maneuver through the through the league so far. Kobe, Dejounte and others have, have talked about uh, you know, being in Atlanta early and having lots of five on five runs the past couple of weeks. If, if you've been able to participate in those runs, what's what's your takeaway from those five on fives? Yeah, it's just like I said before, just learning constantly. Um, Going at Trey, Trey going back at me, DJ, um, Trent, you know, just learning and taking from those guys because at the end of the day, you got to be willing to learn from everybody, um, whether they're older than you or younger than you. Somebody's doing something better than you, I guarantee it. So um, just applying those things to your game no matter where you get it from. Uh, hey, Kobe, uh, you, DeAndre Hunter, and Anyeka Kongu were all out in California at the same time training with the Guard Whisper. <clears throat> um, what with the uh, guard whisper did you hope to like improve, maybe add to your game before coming to the NBA? And how did uh, being there with Dre and Anyeka um, help you start to prepare for the NBA season? Yeah, it was good for us to connect early. Um, that was actually before I met with Dre and O in Atlanta, so I saw them before I saw them out here. But um, Coach O is the guard whisperer's name to me, but he did my pre-draft work, so I was just out there you know, reconvening and getting some stuff tightened up before I came back out here. So it was more kind of like a tune-up. Um, got to play a little bit, as y'all probably saw. Um, but no, the Gar Whispers gym is just a place to be. It's a real good spot to be at. Hi, uh, Kobe. Uh, if you if you saw Lindry Fields' reaction to the team drafting you, I'm not sure, uh, but he was very excited and enthusiastic, to say the least. Uh, how, do you, how does it feel knowing the team was so excited uh, to get their guy and that guy being you? No, it's, it's always um, a good thing to be loved where you're at and wanted where you're at, and they've made me feel like that ever since I got here, and I appreciate them for that. Um, just give them all that I got is my plan while I'm here, and I appreciate them. Of course, uh, you played under NBA great Juwan Howard at Michigan, and now you'll have an opportunity to learn from Coach Snyder. What are some things you learned from Coach Howard that prepared you for the NBA, and what are some things you're looking forward to learning to from uh, learning from Coach Snyder? Yeah, um, as far as on the court, just terminology, he implicates that a lot. Coach Juwan implicates that a lot um, in his offense at Michigan, the terminology that he learned from the Heat and other places. Um, and then he taught me a lot actually off the court, what to expect, what to look out for, how to maneuver while you on the road and stuff like that. So he taught me more off the court than he did on the court. From the draft through your work over the summer, where do you feel your game developed the most? Um, probably um, being more consistent with my shot and then also learn defensive terminology and where to be at on the court.